Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to share a word that the Lord gave me that seems to ring to me like a bell. It's a wake up call to the world about the coming of Jesus. It's timely and God is speaking volumes through it about his coming for his bride. Before I share it, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He died on a cross for your sins and for mine, and he rose again after three days for our salvation. God has been speaking personally to me about holding on to his word, even when the enemy is attacking our faith. He is trying to devour our trust in God's word. God is asking us to stand on his word over our feelings. So if you're experiencing that, just hang on to his word. So here's what he dropped into my mind today. The wheat shortage is a sign of the rapture. There's a wheat shortage going on and it's going to get acute. Here's an article I read today that states what is happening. Stephen Nicholson, he's a global grains and oil seeds strategist for Rabobank said a series of supply side threats are happening with wheat. Canada's crops are withering in the fields. The U.S. summer wheat, heart, wheat crop was a disappointment and the country's spring wheat crop is suffering through dry conditions. Argentina recently harvested a terrible crop and a new one is off to a rough start. Australia is going to have a small crop this year. El Nino could be wrecking havoc on India and Southeast Asia and China has serious problems due to harvest rains. And of course, the Ukraine and Russia are causing a shortage as well with the war. I felt that the Lord spoke to me about this being a sign of the rapture. He is speaking to believers and unbelievers here. Feel free to test the words. And here is what I felt he said. My children, there will be a wheat shortage signaling the rapture. Are not my people the grain or wheat, which is a type of my life in the world? This too is a sign of my coming. Dear children, the harvesting of my bride is here. The children and my wheat will be removed. Didn't I say in Amos 8, 10 through 12, people will long for the world, word, but it will be in short supply? My people are removed who are the storehouses of my word. There are many signs of my soon return. Do you see them? Are you watching for me, your bridegroom? The virgins watched and trimmed their lamp, lamps, waiting with joy. Another sign is this, the trees are being cut down to make way for artificial solutions. Are not my children trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord? Isaiah 61, one through three speaks of trees of righteousness. The removal of the trees is another sign. Children, wake up. My beloved, you will, you will see me soon and you will indeed be trees of righteousness in my glory. My other children, stop doubting the timing of my dealings in this season. Return to me and I will return to you. Give up your evil ways and seek my face. This is your warning, repent and heed my word. And that's what I felt he said. I want to read the scriptures he gave me which so ties in. Amos 8, 10 through 12. I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. I will bring sackcloth on every waist and baldness on every head. I will make it like mourning for an only son and its end like a bitter day. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. They shall water, wander from sea to sea and from north to east, and they shall run to and fro seeking the word of the Lord, but shall not find it. So that was the first scripture. That is speaking of the removal of the wheat that becomes bread. The harvest of the bride is at hand. The wheat disappears. The bread of the word of God becomes scarce. This is an acute 
shortage. Why? Because the bride is gone. God said we are trees. Isaiah 61, 1 through 3 says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty to the captive, the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion and to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may call, be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. The Great Commission is the role for believers, and they are trees of righteousness, bringing shade and life to those who are lost. And to those of you who are fooling around and scoffing, Psalms 2, 10 through 12 speaks to you. Now therefore be wise, O kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, and his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. So for believers, stay alert, keep watch, worship, and set your hope fully on his righteousness and his word. For unbelievers, be wise, turn, and serve the Lord with godly fear, and put your trust in him while there's still time. I'm so looking forward to meeting you all in heaven and loving Jesus together with you in heaven. The time is short. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.